You've decided that you want to take an Alaskan cruise, but you've also heard about this place called Denali. I'm Alex with Storyline Travel. At Storyline Travel, we help you tell your travel story in vibrant cultures. In this video, we're going to talk about how to add on some land touring to your cruise and what's known as a cruise tour. decided you're ready to go see Alaska and taking a cruise is a great way to see it. But there are aspects of Alaska you can't see from the coastline and one of the biggest and most obvious is Denali, the biggest mountain peak in Alaska. And it brings tourists hundreds of thousands a year to try to see the peak coming out of the clouds. So in this video, we're going to spend some time talking about cruise tours, how to add on three, four or five days onto your cruise where you get the chance to visit Denali National Park. So as I've already alluded to, a cruise tour is adding a land portion to your cruise. And for Alaska, that could mean spending time between Anchorage and Denali National Park. It could mean spending time in Fairbanks, which is much further north inland than Anchorage. So let's start in Fairbanks. Fairbanks is in the northern part of Alaska, and it's a great place to start your cruise tour to give you a sense of what life in Alaska is like. Some of the options of activities you can do in Fairbanks is you can take, you can take the Discovery River cruise you can spend time with some of the native Alaskans in a, a village set up by some of the natives there. You actually get a demonstration of a seaplane taking off and landing. It's a fun little excursion that you can take as you start your trip. After usually one night in Fairbanks, you will head south on a motor coach to Denali National Park. Denali National Park is a beautiful national park with one of the highest peaks in the world and the highest peak in Alaska, which is Denali. In this national park, you also will have the opportunity to see the big five. Bears, moose, rams, wolves, and the doll sheep. In addition to the national park, one fun excursion is to visit the huskies at a sled dog kennel. Even the National Park has an area for uh, sled dogs. They're bark rangers put on a fun show every day for visitors to the National Park. One fun note is that the breeders and the trainers of these huskies these, want their dogs to be acclimated to humans. And so guests get the opportunity to visit with and in many cases hold puppies so that they get used to being around humans and get comfortable with that. Um, many of our guests really love the opportunity to interact with these dogs and to hold the puppies. After your time in the Denali National Park area, you'll typically board a train and head south down to Anchorage. This train is an eight hour ride in a two decked glass domed train car. Now, one fact is that Alaska Railways owns the engines and the tracks for this train, but some of the cruise lines, such as Princess Cruises and Holland America Line, they own their individual cars. So depending on the cruise line that you're with, you will board one of these rail cars. Taking the time to travel from the tundra region around Denali National Park south to the coast you'll notice that the trees get taller and denser as they move further away from the permafrost, which does tend to stunt the growth of the trees. Along your train ride, you'll see beautiful lakes, streams, and water. You'll have the opportunity to enjoy the mountain ranges and the trees. And what's really fun is looking out and trying to spot moose or caribou or any of the other animals that live in Alaska. And finally, you'll have a narrator on the train telling you about life in Alaska, 
about the scenery that you're seeing and give you fun facts on your journey. Once you get to Anchorage, Anchorage is a great city for exploring the town itself, but it's also a gateway to many activities from fishing to kayaking, hiking, and spending time enjoying the scenery. And after your stay in Anchorage, you'll take either a motor coach or a short train ride to your port to get on your cruise ship. Now for cruises that start in Seattle or Vancouver and head north, these cruise tours will do the opposite in which once you get to Whittier or Seaward, you'll take your um, transportation to Anchorage and then head north to Fairbanks. One thing to note is while food is included on the cruise, once you step foot on land, you're responsible for purchasing food. The cruise lines do offer food voucher purchases and Storyline Travel can help you with that, explain the details and help you decide what's the best vacation options for you. So now that you've decided to visit Alaska, consider a cruise tour where you get to see not just the beautiful coast on your seven day cruise, but also get to go into the heart of Alaska and see many of the beautiful mountain ranges, hopefully seeing the Denali Peak sneaking out of the clouds, or enjoying the Discovery River Cruise as you learn more about life in Alaska. One final note, if you go in September, you have a really good chance of seeing the Northern Lights, the Aurora Borealis, and a storyline travel. We believe every adventure is a story waiting to be told. Music